Happy Monday, beautiful people. It's Juliana here. Um, I hope everyone is having a nice three-day weekend for MLK Day. Um, but make sure you spend time today to reflect why we have this day off and why um, Martin Luther King Jr. was such a big influencer and role model to look up to because some people tend to lose that feeling and that meaning of why we're actually taking the day off so just make sure that you take today to like reflect on what he was he stood for and what he was trying to get across and how we can continue to spread his message and to live truthfully to his message um but yeah i hope everyone had a wonderful week um this is not going to be a week in my life i want to start filming it this week but it's already monday I don't know, I might start it on Tuesday. I might do like a Tuesday or Thursday in my life because those are my really busy days. So that might be a little more interesting. Um, but yeah, today is going to be a apartment tour and a room tour. Um, I live with two other beautiful girls. I live with Sydney and Ashley. They both were in the dorms with me, so I've known them for almost three years. Two and a half, three years. I don't know. It's been an awfully long time that I've known them. Um, Cindy was actually my roommate here last year. We resigned our leases together and actually moved in this past year um, in August. And so it's been a, a great time with them. Um, but every room is basically the same layout. We all have the same things. Um, and I hope you enjoy. So this is our living room. Um, it actually came furnished with the sofas, the coffee table, and the TV, and the stand below the TV. Um, so we just had to get like the rug. I got that from Target, and I got the lamp from Target in the corner because there's no like overhead lamp, which is really weird. Um, and then I think Sydney brought in the East Carolina University thing. Ashley brought in these lights. <laughs> And they're actually pink and um, the next video real fast will show what it looks like at night but yeah so and Sydney also brought all the cat stuff obviously because um, you know Apollo is Sydney's cat and he has a little kingdom and little house and a little tube and a little scratching post that he's sort of destroyed but he's had it forever yeah and then this is our kitchen like you walk out to the kitchen so we have three bar stools um a sink obviously oven stove microwave this is our pantry we each get a shelf which is really nice and we share the top shelf and the bottom shelf but yeah, this is that. We have um, a beautiful refrigerator because we need it, obviously. Um, every month we get a cute little calendar from the landing and they tell us um, what's going on. So we have like popcorn at the office day. This day there have been Girl Scouts sell cookies at the front. Um, they do grocery bingo. And so they just try to get us all involved in our little community. Um, and then this is our laundry room. So happy we didn't have to furnish really anything. I mean, I brought my own basket, but this is pretty nice that they supplied us with a washer and dryer. However, I will say that that dryer takes like eight hours to dry anything. And so that's sort of obnoxious, but the washer does work pretty well. Um, this is Sydney's room. And then this is Ashley's room, straight ahead. And this is my room um, with natural lighting. Did not want to turn on my light because I don't like bright things. But this is my bed. Um, this is my nice, beautiful closet. And it's really nice. It's a humongous closet. They're sticking up, but it's absolutely large, which is great. And I really like the mirrors. This is where I'll sit down and do my makeup and straighten my hair if I need to straighten my hair. Um, I do have a fan because I do tend to like overheat. Um, the room came furnished with the bed and the dresser 
and the desk and I brought my own TV and I brought the little cute white thing that I had um, the bed I kept but I did add a little foam mattress to it like on top just to make it a little bit softer cuz that was needed um, and then it I brought this little table from my room at my home in Charlotte and this printer I bought the desk is where I um, film my videos if you can't see my little tripod stand and then the camera will turn around and that's like the background for my videos that I've been posting I'll take a little video selfie at the mirror um but I really like this space this is like my space that I've decorated all to myself it has stuff that's like really important to me um, that I've done or people have sent me like all the events that I've planned I've planned I'm planning my fourth um, philanthropy event so these are the well this one the Shamrock 5k I planned it was a 5k and a fun run I planned a pasta dinner a county fair and I'm currently in the process of planning a make your own waffle bar event um, and so those are just like the tickets that we sell. I have letters up here that mean a lot to me. Um, just all different things. I do have pictures and Polaroids hung up all over the wall. What this is really cool. It's actually a light. And it looks a lot better when it's like dark in my room. Um, but they're like little fairy lights and I really like that. If you can't tell, I'm really big into traveling in the world. This is actually something that I made by myself. Well, not by myself, but I made it from really light wood and I stained it, I painted it, I texturized it, but that's not the word that I wanted to use. Um, like, I don't know what word I wanted to use, but that's okay. And then I nailed in little pins of all the places where I've been and then, oh, I gotta hop up from the bed. These two pins represent my homes. So this is my home in Charlotte and this is my home here in Greenville. Um, and they're blue because they're different because they mean a whole lot more to me. Um, but yeah, I made that and I really do love it a lot. Um, I love my room. I'm going to miss it when I have to leave. <sighs> I turned it into my home. I've lived here. This is my second year living here. So I miss it. And then this is the bathroom um I like it too because it's pink it's very different and from my other room the room my bedroom is really calm and then it's like really bright in here um but I really do like it I actually painted this picture of three air balloons with the gold foil me and my mom did a gold foil class we try to do something at least one fun thing before I leave after long breaks like such as like summer break or winter break because those are like the longer breaks we try to do one thing just us together without the rest of my family and so we did a gold foil class and so that was a lot of fun but I just love my room so much and it's very much me blue is obviously my favorite color and I wanted to use different shades of blue I have my Kappa Delta hang up I have the first two bid days that I had, that's my bid day from when I was um, rushed into Capital Delta, and then this is bid day from my sophomore year, and I don't have my um, junior year this past year's bid day up there just because I haven't had time to yet. But yeah, this room is very much me and a part of me, and I'm gonna miss it. I hope everyone enjoyed the apartment tour and my room tour. Um, my apartment complex also has three pools, a hot tub, a workout room, um, a clubhouse, um, what is it called, like a tanning bed booth sort of thing. Um, that's, they're all free, they all are included within um, rent for a month. I also have a parking spot that was free with the apartment. Um, let's see what else. Oh, the ECU bus will come up here and get us to bring us to classes. I don't use that. I use a park and ride pass that I have so I can park closer to campus 
that's just because I run a lot of errands afterwards or I have meetings afterwards so it's just easy for me not to come all the way back here because um, it is sort of a longer it's one of the further away apartment complexes from ECU um, from the main campus at least and from our health sciences campus now that I think of it but yeah so that's my apartment complex um, leave any comments or questions down below um, please put up some suggestions of what you want to see I'm really thinking about doing the Tuesday in my life because that's one of my busier days or Thursday in my life because they're both my really busy days I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do quite yet um, but look forward to that um, and please do take this time since we do have a longer weekend to like think about why we have this day off like I said before um, it's a really important day and you shouldn't lose sight of that uh, let's see please subscribe to my channel um, uh, like this video watch other videos and comment below more content that you want to see sorry that was sort of bad I was losing my train of thought there for a hot minute but that's okay I hope everyone has a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of their week Bye.